Good morning. So pardon me while I give uh, somebody attention that uh, apparently is required at this particular moment in time. Um, so I want to start off this video by saying that because I don't want people to get the wrong impression. And there's two things that will cause me to go after somebody. Number one, if you go after me, you're fair game. Ergo, pinball preparedness. I'd leave pinball alone if he'd own up what he did. If he would own up that he called me stupid for wanting to use glass solar panels with my EcoFlow Delta 1300. He called me stupid for that. Because who would use glass panels with a portable solar generator? That was his words, not mine. All he'd have to do is own up to that. I'd leave the cat alone. I'd never say another word. But he's such a weak man that he can't own up to his own demons. You know, he step down, step down, step down. That's all he does. That's most of his content is stepping down on somebody. You know, there are a lot of people that say that they were taught never to start a fight, but to damn well finish one. Well, Pinball likes to start him and then run. And then when he does get backed into a corner, he has other people fight his fights for him. That is not, <laughs> that's not even close to the same logic. But I'm not here to talk about that. The second reason I will come after you is if you claim to be in service to the Father and you are doing absolute scumbaggery. If you're misleading people, if you're lying to people, I'll come after you then. So, I've been calling this out for years at this point. Because I noticed that there were several indiscrepancies in the things that Baron Dependent was saying. And all you have to do is A, not idolize him, not supposed to idolize anybody. And B, pay attention, listen. Because he tells on himself. All you have to do is give him just a little bit of time and he will absolutely tell on himself. Does it every time. Today, he did it again. This time, I got a little clip of it. Because I don't have little clips of the other times that I could show you. You could go back, I'm sure, and find it. But I don't have anything per se. So on June 12, 2024, he solicited his viewers for night vision goggles. Now, night vision's not a cheap, you know, purchase. That's pretty, pretty expensive. And so, he indicated uh, that they were, they were going to be needed for operational reasons, right? Operational reasons. What makes you think that, oh, he's going to use this for his anti-child trafficking venture, right? Today, that was June 12th, today, he <laughs> says it flat out on his video that they're going to have an add-on course for his med course that's going to involve using knots. And very pridefully said that if you don't have knots, we got knots. If you got knots, bring knots. But if you don't have knots, we got knots. Hmm. Imagine that. So, it would appear, in my opinion, that the nods that he solicited people to buy for him are actually in furtherance of his business. That's a pretty cringeworthy way of growing a business, in my opinion. You know, <laughs> I, I cannot claim that I've never asked for donations on the Watchman News, because that would be a flat-out lie. But it is so rare that I had ever asked for donations. We we pretty much always, as far as I know, had an Amazon affiliate link and a donate link down in the description of the video. Point out all the videos where I have even mentioned it. Because it's not very many. There are periods of time to where I'd have a banner or something like that. This video will have a banner, right? 
Why? Because, folks, and I'm not asking for pity. I'm not asking for my, I ain't asking for nothing. But I don't have a single pair of socks that don't have a hole in them. Okay? It blows my mind. It blows my mind. I refuse. You know, teeth would be nice. I refuse to get on here and do that. That's, you know, and again, I will put a banner. There will be a banner across this video, the entire video, at the bottom on ways you can help if you choose to. But I'm doing that because I don't have a whole lot of choices. I just don't. Um, you know, I have poured my heart into what I did at YouTube. Believe it or not. It may not show it in production quality or anything like that. But the very camera that I'm talking to you on is a DJI Pocket 2. Okay, did I ask y'all to buy me a DJI Pocket 2? No. You know what I did to get this DJI Pocket 2 so that I could make better content for you? I built somebody a website. I built somebody a website. You know how I got the drones that I have? And I know that's not related to making content for the Watchman News. But it's preparedness. We bought those as tools for preparedness. You know how I got those? By making decals for Angry American, a.k.a. Chris Weatherman. And Survival Dispatch. Big Daddy Unlimited. That's how I purchased those drones. Okay? Now, the first drone I purchased was, was donations. Was the first drone, which was a... Uh, uh, I think there was 150 something all in when I when I bought it and it was a Potemzik D58 still got it still fly it once in a while I don't fly any of the drones very often they're they're tools not toys and I don't fly any of them very often but typically when I do when I do you know run them want to run a cycle through the batteries I'll pull the D50 out D58 out too and I'll cruise it around through each battery run it you know, charge the batteries up, run them down halfway, park it, you know. Um, and I'll most certainly do that. But, um, you know, it turned out real quick, I realized that, you know, that Potemzik D58 wasn't going to cut it for what I was needing. And I had to go with DJI. Let's hope they don't get banned. I don't think it's going to affect anybody that currently owns, you know, anything that's already been out there. I don't think that those are going to be affected. But even the camera I'm talking to you on, uh, the DJI Pocket 2, if this bill goes through that's attached to the NDAA, they won't even be able to produce more cameras like this. Anything that they have that they require a, a, an FCC uh, authorization to use because it uses you know, either Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, what have you, that's that's how they're getting them, right? Is by by not authorizing any more FCC approvals of, of their their products, right? So again, I don't think it's going to affect the older stuff. Uh, but this is insane. This is insane. I want to remind you of some other times going back, and maybe this is jog some memories because I want people to understand what's going on here. He ran a big donation drive some time ago, right? And as soon as the donation drive, and I can't remember if it was for anti-child trafficking or if it was for that girl that he uh, supposedly helped that was in that tornado, I think, in, in Oklahoma. And I have to say supposedly because, you know, we hadn't heard a word about her ever since, right? They were going to get her on her feet. They were going to send her to schooling. Sorry, we got a, tra a trash truck that... Uh, just happens to run through right now at this particular moment in time so um, no big deal I'm not gonna edit it out I'm not gonna start over because that's how I roll but um, anyway that's our new trash trucks by the way that they don't even get out of the truck they got the little arm that grabs a hold of it and dumps it in yeah, so but anyway I want to I want to jog the memories on this one you had this big donation drive and it was either for that girl or it was for anti-child trafficking one of the two 
And right after the donation drive, I'll be damned if his wife didn't get a freeze dryer, which he claimed that she had been saving up for, and he didn't outfit his entire drum kit with microphones, which is not a cheap investment. Now, okay, sure, they could have been saving up money. Okay, sure, this could be from the sales of, of medical kits. Sure. But there seems to be a pattern here. Seems to be a pattern here that every time that there's a, a big donation drive, that all of a sudden, all of a sudden, he's getting this stuff just, you know, coincidentally, of course. And he's doing it all in the name of the Father. All of it. I posted in the community section the other day uh, an image of my ordination certificate, if you will, and it's a cheesy one, right? It's cheesy. I was, I was ordained by a church called Universal Ministries, right? I'm not afraid to, to tell the truth about it. I wasn't even serious about it when I got ordained. I did it as a joke on myself that bit me in the ass. The Father is incredible. He is absolutely incredible. He will use, he'll use you against yourself if he needs to, to get your attention. And that's exactly what he did to me. That's how he got me. He used me, I, I, I loved kind of practical type of jokes and stuff like that. And that's what my intent was when I got ordained. It was to be able to say, see, now look, anybody can get ordained. Which is true. I, I mean, I was atheist at the time. That's true. Anybody can get ordained, right? You can go to universalministry.com today and go fill out the form and, and have your ordination, right? It doesn't hold any more weight if you have another pastor stand up and say, I think it's time for you to be ordained. That holds no more weight than you going right now to that website and getting that, that certificate. You know what makes the difference in the, the weight that it holds to be an ordained minister, whether or not God chose you. That's the only difference. Man can pick and choose all they want. That's not God. The only one that it makes a difference if you're ordained is the Father himself. And that is it. Nobody can change that. It is what it is. I didn't pick it. I didn't pick it. I do now. Apps are frickin' lootly. I wouldn't want to serve anybody else. Ain't no damn way. But why? Because I gave that chance. I gave the honest chance. And I put in way more faith than a mustard seed. Mustard seed. How about children? Because that's what I've anted up to the pot right now. Children. It's insane. I'm not coming here making this content for reasons like he claims, like some type of poor mentality. That's not it. Not at all. Somebody walking by. This is, this is an incredible community. Incredible community. It's awesome. Um, no, we don't want to eat. No, I'm kidding. If, if you want to move here, move here. Beautiful community. Awesome community. You know, it's very, it's a cliquish town, so I'm not the most liked individual here, that's for damn sure. Uh, it's a very cliquish town, but uh, there's a lot of good people here. Really, truly a lot of good people here. Sorry for all the trash truck noise, it's trash day, you know what I mean? Um, but, uh, all you have to do is pay attention, and there are other times, if you go back, Speaking of Bear Independent, of when they had big donation drives and stuff like that, that's all you got to do. Go find his big donation drive, and then go watch his content afterwards. It's amazing the stuff he gets. Heavy equipment, all kinds of stuff, you know? It's mind-blowing. It really, truly is. And, you know, if you're up front and honest about it, that's one thing. But when you're using scumbaggery, and misleading people as to the true intent and purpose of what it is that you're soliciting. 
Man, I'm telling you, the Father doesn't play around with people who lie. It's, it's one of the handful of things that the Father considers an abomination. That nobody can change. That people can get pissed off at me and they can thumbs down my video all they want. It's not about me and it's not even in between me. That's in between them and the Father. That's in between you and the Father. All I'm doing is standing firm behind his word because I give him more than that mustard seed of faith. I've leaned all in. I've leaned all in. As I said, I don't have a pair of socks that don't have a hole in them. I've got not even one and a half teeth left at this point because the one's pretty much gone. Or that, that what I keep calling the half is pretty much gone. I could go on and on. I'm not going to. I make do with what I had. I posted a video about my redneck flight sim seat. You know, I enjoy doing projects like that. I do. I absolutely love it. But don't you think if I could afford to buy the nice materials and have something a little bit better looking, a little bit lighter, a little bit easier to put away, or what have you, that I would? Yeah, I would. But I'm very content with what I've got in there. Very content. That thing works awesome. Right? That's my... That's my one thing. That's my one toy. That's my one getaway, if you will. And not so much flight sim as much anymore as what it is VTOL VR. But that's it. That's it. Putting on that headset, going in there, and flying around shooting stuff. That's it. That's my one escape. And you know what? I didn't ask y'all for donations to get that either. What did I do? I beta tested an absolute piece of crap product and sat out here in the heat fighting that damn thing day in and day out while the company completely ignored the issues with the item. And they just, in fact, recently took it off their website for sale and um, I've got another year to go after another year the NDA the non-disclosure agreement is completely kaput completely done and I've got content that I will release at that time to show you just how flawed that thing was at the time we were testing it and how I was doing anything and everything I could to, to get them to I mean, I can't say they didn't respond to it, but they just kept pushing off like it was no big deal. Dude, the, the, one of the most important things about how the item works, the GPS, was a joke at best. Eh, you just, you can't have trees. <laughs> can't, can't be close to a house or another structure or something. What? Okay. Because everybody's mowing their pasture, right? It's, 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 it's crazy. Anyway, I just don't believe in taking advantage of people. Whether you're a big corporation or whether you're somebody on YouTube or even as an individual locally. I absolutely cannot handle, cannot stand people that take advantage of others. But when you claim to be doing the Father's work and the Father's will, and you engage in that kind of stuff, I'm not going to keep my mouth shut. That's a promise. I'm not. I'm not supposed to. It's kind of funny as far as Bear is concerned. He's got plenty to say about plenty of people, and boy, his iron can sharpen other iron. But not a single person can sharpen him. Isn't that interesting how that works? Really interesting how that works. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. Anyway, that's what I got for you. I've got a link to an Odyssey, uh, to Odyssey at the um, description in the first comment I'll put it. And that's the clip that I clipped out today because I don't know if they've got a way of blocking me from, from having that clip or showing that clip. Or, uh, or if they could delete the whole damn uh, live stream from this morning or what have you. Um, 
I, I already clipped it and I uploaded it to Odyssey and I'll put that link down below. That way you can uh, you can uh, click on it at your leisure and see what he had to say today. And the, and the, and the pride and the ego that he used when he and this is stuff he was soliciting people to get for operational reasons. Yeah. The operation of his business. Ridiculous. I just hope people wake up. I'm not asking. I, I, I just want people to wake up. There's a whole lot of snakes out here. Whole lot of people getting bit. Hope you have a good day. Shalom.